What's up guys, welcome to my channel. This Camry here has a check engine light code P0420. Uh, catalytic converter, blow threshold. So, before you make any repairs, before you do anything, you might want it, try one thing, okay? This is a fairly easy car, this is a four cylinder. Some cars are a little difficult to get to, but here's the oxygen sensor. You don't have to remove the whole catalytic converter. All you need to do is remove this sensor right here and you could use a cleaner. They sell cleaner for this. And what I'm gonna be using is a, a cleaner. I'm gonna show you the cleaner and we're gonna remove that sensor while it's on the car. We're not gonna remove anything. We're gonna, all you're gonna do is spray a little bit in there and also spray the sensor down. And uh, that one might, and there's also another sensor in the bottom. If you could get to the bottom, I'm not gonna get to the bottom because the customer requested me and the customer actually brought the spray. And I think it's okay idea, okay. I have done it, you can do it. If you luck out, you don't need to spend $1,400 on this catalytic converter. Most shop will recommend you sensors with it. So it's best. You try this, and if it's easy enough, you could do it yourself. So let's get this thing on. I'm gonna show you the product that I'm gonna be using, and we're gonna pull out that sensor and and use a little bit of cleaner that customer brought me, and we're gonna give it a shot. And from there, it's on his own. Okay, my friends, we're back in business. We got this socket here, uh, seven by eight. And what we need to do is we need to turn this sensor counterclockwise. Just be careful with the wiring of this sensor. Let me try to give it another shot from a different angle. There you go. And you're gonna just budge that out. Once you budge that out, you're gonna turn. Make sure it's not hot, okay? I would suggest you do this when it's cold. You're gonna turn, turn, turn. Don't worry about this uh, cable here. You're just gonna loop the wiring around. If you want, you could disconnect though. These usually break, no problem. And all you do is you turn, turn, turn. It's gonna have a lot of loops around this wiring, that's okay. And once you turn, 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 the sensor is gonna come out really easy. Really easy. You need to do more turns. Once you do all the turns, you just hold on to it. Don't let the loops, cause you could turn it back and it's gonna go back to its original position. Anyways, now is that time that I show you that little cleaner this Mr. John Smith here brought me. And there it is, throttle air cleaner. This thing is good, you could use it for throttle body and it's not harmful. I would suggest you give it a lot of times so once this is all done. All you do is you stick this into the hole and uh, you just uh, spray this in there, okay? It's not going inside where I wanted it to go. Okay, there you go. All right, whole bunch of sprays. All right, it's hot, this thing is hot. All right, so there's the cleaner. All right, I gave it a good five minutes and now I'm gonna give it another shot. Stick it right back into that little hole. It has a small little hole. All this is is a little filter in here, okay? Once that thing has the carbon built up, it doesn't do its job like it's supposed to. All right, let me give it to this angle. You can hear it sizzling because it's a little bit hot. Because he brought it. these things get hot really pretty easy. Oops, there's the hole. There you go. Wait five, ten more minutes and do it again, okay? And then you can also clean out this sensor, okay? Because usually the holes on these sensors, they will tend to have a carbon buildup, especially the one down below, okay? Remove that too, clean it. That one really makes a difference because uh, this is what reads the sensor. If you, if you, uh, this is what reads your catalytic converter. So once things go through, the sensor it picks up, okay? It's important you clean the one in the bottom, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna wait a few more minutes, I'm gonna do it again, and then and I'm gonna do it about four times, you're not gonna see the rest of it, and when I come back, I'm gonna put this thing right back together. All right guys, I did a few more times, and it's time for me to put this thing back. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take your sensor here, stick it back, and I want you to let the car sit down for a good 40 minutes after this, 
And after that, you can reset the light. To reset the light, you might have to get a scan tool. Okay, I'm not catching no threads. You could buy a smaller scan tool because you can always scan your own vehicles and do small, small repairs. It's always worth it. Okay, I'm gonna need some lighting to angle up on the sensor. Let me go back because I do need my loops. There you go, that looks good right there. All right. All right, once you catch all the threads in there and you're gonna take your sensor here, you can torque this. Other than if you don't have a torque wrench, it's okay. Just snug it, okay? Thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully, save you some money here. And if it doesn't work out, then you might have to replace everything. Make sure all the uh, loops around here are gone. Thank you for watching. And that's how you're gonna clean this bad boy.